Good evening guys and happy Tuesday to all of your sunshiny faces guys. I am almost all caught up with editing. Um, I'm honestly thinking that most likely by next week I should be caught up at least editing wise. Um, as far as like the uploads go probably also maybe at some point possibly next week. Um, but I ended up getting a ton edited today, which was awesome. They were actually all very short vlogs, which I guess was also like the benefit to doing that. But um, I ended up editing three yesterday and then I got to seven today. So I uploaded those two of the three that I edited yesterday and I have eight that are on my computer right now that I could upload tomorrow. Probably will not edit or upload all eight of them, maybe like six of them four of them something like that I don't know it's just gonna take me a really long time <laughs> so um I can sort of space them out though too because then I won't have too much left to edit before I'm all like I said caught up so that's really awesome um but um today I did not I yesterday I was so proud of myself I woke up early then Jack actually came to wake me up um like this morning and I ended up sort of getting up <laughs> and then the thing was, was that he came and woke me up before he left for school at like 7.30, I think, or something like that. And I was like, okay, well, it's all right. I'll go back to bed for half an hour because I set my alarms for 8 o'clock. Now, I haven't had my alarm set for the last couple days just because I've actually been trying to wake up on my own. And here's the thing, guys. I actually am starting to think that my alarms are a really, really bad bad thing for me um because and I think that they are actually the opposite of beneficial in this situation because in a situation like that where I'm woken up early or something like that or just wake up on my own early normally my go-to is always I'm not going to get up right now because I'm going to wait until my alarms go off then I fall back asleep and sleep through my alarms and this is what happens all the time so that happened today and I ended up waking up about 9 30 or 10 o'clock and I only had one alarm set so and I don't think that I turned it off I actually think that I slept through it and it only goes off for like maybe a half an hour or something like that and if I haven't like hit snooze or anything like that I think it just turns off on its own I don't know because I'm normally sleeping through it uh, so I don't know actually like how long it goes off before it turns off I do know however that my phone does that I think it's after honestly like 15 minutes or something like that if I haven't hit the snooze button it just turns off um, and I think that's actually to preserve the battery and I think that's really smart um, But I feel like that's a really bad thing because my alarm like I said I wind up normally sleeping through my phone alarm as well And so I think it goes off a lot of times and I do notice that it does drain the battery when it does that um, And so I'm thinking that over a long term like a lot of use where I'm sleeping through my alarm it can only be doing bad things to the battery. <laughs> so, um, like I said, but I think my biggest problem is the fact that, like I said, I wind up, like, waking up, if I wake up early, because Jack came, like I said, before he left for school at about 7.30, he came and took the dogs out, and he was like, Kayla, get up, because I sent him a text message, it was like, wake me up before you leave for school, because that's what he did yesterday, I think, and then I think my mom came in and, like, tried to wake me up after that also. So, like, I was up at, like, 8 o'clock, actually, yesterday. And so, again, that's what I was thinking was going to happen today but because I went to bed a little late last night and then on top of that too um Jack like I said came and woke me up at 7 30 and I was like oh it's okay I'll just like close my eyes for half an hour and at eight o'clock my alarm will go off and then I'll get up and I actually think it was set for 7 50 so I was like I only have 20 minutes I will definitely not fall asleep in 20 minutes and I was like actually pretty awake too sort of like petting Charlie and stuff like that though too so it wasn't like I just like completely fell back to sleep I was like sort of like waking up a little bit but then all of a sudden I woke up at nine o'clock and was like oh I guess or I think it was like 9 30 I was like oh okay well yeah um that's <laughs> you know not not so great I ended up like I said falling right to sleep and ended up staying asleep then after that um and didn't wake up for my alarm at all so like I said I think that my alarms are completely counterproductive <laughs> because they just like I said I I get like I said not wanting to not being like this is my last resort sort of thing like when I put the last resort on my alarm clocks then I'll wind up probably falling back asleep and sleeping through them and I don't know I don't know if it's because I've had them for so long that I just don't like I don't have a reaction to them pretty much at all anymore like just I sleep through them and it's not necessarily always that I sleep through them but when I'm in like sort of a like or getting back into a good sleep schedule which I have been very gradually like over the weekend and yesterday I did 
And again, today wasn't horrible, but I should have probably been up earlier and I would have preferred to have been up earlier. But like I said, in those situations where I'm waking up still a little bit later, um, you know, or going to bed later, um, then, you know, like I, sometimes I can sleep right through my alarm. And so it's, you know, like getting back into that sleep schedule. If I would have went to bed at like 11 o'clock last night and most likely woke up from my alarms at eight o'clock, um, like I probably would have done that. But when I'm not like feeling like I'm getting really great sleep anyway, um, and again, I'm trying to work myself, like wean myself back off of like you know that wake up time that I'm constantly at um is when like I said it's not helpful like it's not going to wake me up or anything like that like I get into really really deep sleep and I just I think I sleep through it um and like I said because I think my sleep hours sometimes get screwed up and stuff like that then I don't know maybe I'm in like a really deep sleep when they normally are going off and so that's why I just sleep right through them so like I said I don't really entirely know why that is but um I think that again it's just like I use that as my last resort like oh I don't have to get up right now like my alarms haven't even gone off yet and then I wind up falling back asleep and sleeping through them so I think that was what today was um like I said I'm actually going to turn them off again tonight and not use that as my last resort that way like if I do because again it's sort of counterproductive anyway because if i'm going to have it i'm going to probably sleep through anyway so i'm going to wake myself up when i wake up anyway so if that makes sense like so having it there might give me that it's like i don't have any last resort like you know jack came in woke me up when he took the dogs out i have to get up now because there's nothing to wake me up after the fact um other than my phone alarm like i said i leave that one on but my other two alarms that i have i have three alarms guys i still wind up sleeping through them um but i think that those ones i've just had for so long that they don't even like phase me at all and i'll be honest to you guys I used to have, I think it was Pandora, um, uh, like my, one of my apps, like a long time ago, I had it on my phone and you could set, um, an alarm to have it go off for your music. You can't do that with Spotify. And I am so upset. I wish that they would have it. Um, because honestly, when I wake up to music, it is like the most like peaceful, <laughs> like most graceful way to possibly wake up, I feel like. And it was always just so like, I would just wake up in the morning and just be so happy. And like, I would honestly start singing along with the songs, like while I'm sort of asleep still, like, and so I don't know, it was just like the most like I said, amazing, peaceful, like <laughs> heavenly way to wake up in the morning was when my music would come on. And so I wish that there was like, I had that option on my phone, but I've looked it up multiple times and Spotify doesn't have that as an option. And I don't use any other like streaming services. I don't, I don't even know the last time I signed into my Pandora account either, like to have that set up as that. Um, and I wouldn't want to download the app on my phone. Literally the only reason I probably use it was just for my um you know like I said for an alarm <laughs> that would be the only purpose for it um and I know like you can like I think that you can buy music obviously like through iTunes or whatever and actually have it set as an alarm like you would like a ringtone I believe that that's an option but again I don't want to have to go through all that I'm not going to spend money on one song and then again be completely bored of that song like I liked having like the option of like whatever song was playing sort of thing was like always really cool and so like I said I wish that that was an option with Spotify and I don't know too that's why I've also been thinking about maybe I had on my Christmas list to get an Apple Home um like the, the Apple Home I don't know if it's a mini I think it was like the Apple Home mini or whatever it was um because I wanted that um for one I wanted I just want to have a speaker so that I can put music on in my room and listen to it because I have a little speaker but I have to have it plugged in now. It doesn't even have battery length that works anymore. And sometimes it gets disconnected. It's just a huge, big pain. Um, and so, and it was like a cheap, like honestly, like $20, I think. And it was originally Jack's and my dad bought it for him, I think at Menards. And then he could never get his phone to connect to it anymore for some reason. It was only ever connecting to mine. And so I don't want to just get a speaker and like a really good quality speaker that again, I'd have to waste money on anyway. Whereas I just buy that because it wasn't that crazy expensive. Um, and to have like, again, like a smart home, but on top of that too, I can also connect it to my Apple TV and play the sound through there as like a, 
like stereo sort of surround sound system and i think maybe you can even get two of them and do the surround sound system or something but i know that you can play the music through there so if i ever really wanted to i could do that a lot of times though if i'm using my tv or if i'm just sort of like working on my computer then i just put music on on my computer whereas i could just use like i said like an apple home to do that and i don't know there might be an option maybe with that to be able to set an alarm for music but i also don't have like a subscription to like apple music or anything like that which i think you have to maybe too i don't know i haven't totally looked into any of this stuff that much <laughs> but um like i said i'm just like you know i really wish if i could wake up to music in the morning i feel like i totally would and i would totally get up right away you know like i said when the music goes off <laughs> but um i don't like i said i don't really know how to actually get it to do that and, and on top of that too i used to i think you used to be able to with pandora also is set music for like a timer and because i remember also falling asleep to it a few times like I would put on like meditation music like right before I'd fall asleep to sort of like help me fall asleep because I couldn't sleep necessarily if it was completely like like completely silent in my room so I normally have the tv on but I don't like the light from the tv sometimes and so if I could still do that again I would absolutely love it but, so I leave my tv on at night and I have it set for a timer so it goes off after an hour anyway and I'm normally asleep by that time anyway but like I don't like just having it completely silent in my room when I'm falling asleep like I like to sort of listen to something while I'm sort of like falling asleep and so again when I had music and was able to actually listen to music when I was falling asleep I loved that like again this was years ago that I looked into this like probably a good five plus years ago that I used to use the Pandora for that and I was like I wish that Spotify had this option and I think I looked it up not too long ago maybe I'll do it again just to see if there is an option to do that um but I don't know too if you also have to have like third party sort of things to get it to do that or like I said what but I really wish that you know that would be something that's so beneficial <laughs> so anyways guys yes i need to take a shower now and get to bed i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you subscribe and i'll see you all ever since jenny faces tomorrow so bye guys